For matrices and reflections, we find that we can use matrices to perform reflections as well. So just like above, where we see the coordinates, and we see the patterns with the coordinates, where if we reflect across the x-axis, our point AB becomes A negative B. So the x-coordinate stays the same, and the y-coordinate changes its sign. Well, we can see the same pattern, and we can use matrices to solve for reflections. The matrix for reflecting across the x-axis is 1, 0, 0, negative 1. The 1, 0 keeps our x value the same, whereas 0, negative 1 makes it so that our y value changes its sign. And so what this does is it takes the matrix for any polygon that we have, and it reflects it across the x-axis. And it will give us that image matrix. We can also reflect across the y-axis. When we do that, we can look above our coordinates again. Our coordinates, AB, become negative AB. So our x-coordinate changes its sign, and our y-coordinate changes stays the same. The matrix for this reflection is negative 1, 0, 0, positive 1. The negative 1, 0 makes it so that our x value changes its sign, and the 0, 1 makes it so that our y value stays the same. What this does is it takes a shape, some polygon that we have, and reflects it across the y-axis. So let's look at a quick example. We have the vertices of triangle DEF are D, which is 1, 2, E is 3, 3, and F is 4, 0. We can create a matrix for this polygon using those coordinates, where D, E, and F are our columns, and X and Y are our rows. D is 1, 2, E is 3, 3, and F is 4, 0. To reflect this matrix across the y-axis, we're going to use the matrix negative 1, 0, 0, 1. And it's really important that you keep this order, that you take the reflection matrix first and multiply it by your polygon matrix. That way we have a 2 by 2 being multiplied by 2 by 3 so that we can actually do the multiplication. When we do this multiplication, I would still set it up so that your first matrix, the reflection matrix, is down to the left and the polygon matrix is up above. We take our first row and our first column. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 0 times 2 is 0. We then take the first row and the second column. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 0 times 3 is 0. And lastly, we take the first row and the last column. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 0 times 0 is 0. That gives us the first row of our new matrix. For the second row, we take the second row of the reflection matrix and the first co column of our polygon. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. We can then take the second row and the second column. 0 times 3 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. And we can take the second row and the third column. 0 times 4 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. So our final answer, our image matrix, is negative 1, negative 3, negative 4, 2, 3, 0. And what we should notice is the original matrix looks almost the same numerically, just the top row, the signs have changed. And that's because all the x values have changed. If we were to graph this, we would get the images. 